50,000 years ago, Neanderthals roamed Europe and West Asia. The strong, big-bodied species had ruled these parts for more than 150,000 years. They made tools such as flint hand axes, and they hunted mammoths and other large animals. Then the game changed. Neanderthal territory shrank, and populations with more sophisticated tools appeared. These new players may have been Neanderthals who developed new skills, or the first modern-looking humans to reach Europe, or a mixture of the two. Soon after the appearance of these mysterious, tech-savvy groups, the Neanderthals disappeared completely and Homo sapiens ruled Europe. Our species won the game. That's roughly what happened. Scientists want to learn more about how this game of survival and extinction played out. When exactly did the Neanderthals disappear? And how much did they overlap with modern-looking humans, providing opportunities for the two species to share ideas and have sex? It's difficult to accurately date human remains and artifacts. But recently, improvements in radiocarbon dating have produced more reliable dates for these events. Let's replay the Neanderthal survival game with help from Tom Hyam and team from the University of Oxford. They dated remains from more than 40 sites across Europe. They showed that the Neanderthals weren't wiped out suddenly. Instead, beginning around 45,000 years ago, their territory grew smaller. But Neanderthals still lived in pockets of southern Europe. Around the same time, the new players entered the game. They produced a greater range of tools, including more sophisticated stone blades and pointed bone awls, possibly used to make clothes. They also carved ivory pendants and used ochre and other pigments. This kind of symbolic behavior is the basis for language, art, and even religion and archaeologists debate whether Neanderthals possessed these abilities. It's possible that modern-looking humans moved into southern Europe, bringing their tools and artwork with them, and then some Neanderthals simply copied these technologies. Alternatively, Neanderthals may have created these objects on their own, pointing to a capacity for symbolic thought. The new study shows that these two transitional cultures, as they're called, coexisted, making the copying theory more likely, the team says. As the game continued, more Neanderthal populations disappeared. Some scientists have proposed that the last Neanderthal stronghold was in Iberia, but the team found no convincing evidence of this. Their data suggest that Neanderthals survived in several parts of Europe and overlapped with modern-looking humans for several thousand years, ample time for exchange of ideas and plenty of opportunities for interbreeding. But by 35,000 years ago, all traces of the Neanderthals were gone and our species dominated the continent. Scientists still debate why Neanderthals lost and humans won. Climate change and increased competition for food and land probably played important roles. But like any game, the outcome may have also come down to chance. Maybe next time, humans won't be so lucky.